Sometimes I ask myself, why do I stay here when there may be greater opportunities elsewhere? The answer is really simple and yet complex. I like it here. It's removed from the tremendous fragmentation, intensity of the city. But it isn't a retreat into non-reality. I mean, we haven't just walked off into the woods to contemplate our navels. I feel that I'm in a place that allows me to reflect from time to time on what's going on. And for me, that's important. I need to think a great deal about the things I communicate to the persons I'm here to serve. I care about them, and many of them become some of my closest friends later. Good morning. I think today, since we have a little bit more work to do, that uh, we won't have that quiz. We'll have it on Monday instead, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Take two. The Avionics Engineering Center today announced receipt of a research grant to continue airborne evaluation of navigation and landing systems. Ohio University is the only school in the United States offering graduate and undergraduate programs in electrical engineering with an option in avionics engineering. The School of Dance has announced a year filled with concerts, workshop performances, and artists in residence. Auditions for admission to the dance program will be held next week. The School of Music also plans a series of nearly 100 concerts during the academic year. These include faculty and student recitals, as well as performances by visiting artists and various university musical organizations. Service in the area of lifelong learning is being increased by the university, already a national leader in independent study through correspondence programs. New curricula, assessment methods, and ways of delivering education are being developed for persons of all ages wanting to continue their work toward degrees. Most of the programs are administered by the Extension Division and through the university's branch campuses in Belmont County, Ironton, Lancaster, Zanesville, and Chillicothe. The American Home Economics Association has named Ohio University's broadly based home ec curriculum as a model program. The University Center for Afro-American Studies has been cited for its academic program and variety of cultural programs. Particularly noteworthy is its journal, Confrontation, a journal of social analysis, which also encompasses art, literature, and social science. An overview of the campus next week will reveal a caca Cacophony of speakers' voices as the annual World Communications Conference again brings well-known newspaper, magazine, and television personalities, both from this country and abroad, to Ohio University. We'll be back with more news and Bobcat Sports right after this brief public service message. What was that word you said? Caca what? Cacophony. C cacophony. I don't know. Uh, we should have a dictionary on the set. Yeah. Wait till tomorrow. We'll get a word for you, too. It's in the sandbox. And three my cue. Particularly noteworthy is it's journal. Next is mix. Fun over two. Cindy's mic and a cue. Cacophony. Cacophony. I'll probably never get another chance to use that word. When you think about it, most of the world's problems are caused by poor communications. I wonder what would have happened if that general had said, don't fire until you see the whites of their eggs. <laughs> we negotiate and arbitrate as individuals and between countries. It seems to me that education really is a form of discovering ideas and being able to communicate and share those ideas with others. Let's pursue that point. 
How is Hamlet's tragic situation intimately bound up with that idea? Well, he can't trust anyone, and he lives in a world that, where open communication is impossible. Yeah, he says Denmark's a prison and admits he has bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? But I think that's a good point. Hamlet's world is cacophonous and dissonant and out of joint. But we are able to have a dialogue with that world, to communicate with it as part of the ongoing process of the way in which we come to a deeper understanding of those vital interconnections between literature and learning and life. Did the professor say you could take the course? Everyone repeat. No, he said I couldn't take the course. 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 Well, for fish sandwich and french fries, we call them Sibzamini for french fries, okay? Sibzamini. Sibzamini, yes. Why don't you try it? Tell me what you see as, you, as uh, you go along. Well, externally I see no lesions or exudate. And, going farther, I see the membrane. Can you see a protrusion on the membrane itself? Yes, I do. Okay, you want to identify if there are any um, bulges in the drum beneath or above that protrusion. Do you see any? No. That's fine. Are you really sure about that facilitated segment? Well, I, I thought I understood it. Yeah. Remember what Laura was talking about last week? Yeah. About the increased activity. We saw them go through two in the course of the case while the case writers were researching the company and now they're without a chief engineer again. Any recommendations for this company that uh, goes through chief engineers rather rapidly? I'd recommend that they remove their engineering services department and put it back where it used to be in the rest of the organizational structure. They had separated it out to remove corruption during World War II. For potato, potato, sieve, 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 zamini, sieve, zamini, sieve, zamini, yes. This was partly an indication, I included this, partly to give you an indication that both countries had received quite a bit of money from Western countries to help in their development. But that Ivory Coast had received a great deal more, most of which was from France. And minus one together. I'm shortening this process, okay. And therefore, S is equal to how much? 75! 75! Hi! Hi! Sib, Sib, Sib Zamini. Sib Zamini. No, no Sib Zamini. Sib Zamini. Sib Zamini. Sib Zamini. Sib Zamini. Okay, go ahead again. This is a magnetic quadrupole triplet spectrometer. Whoa, wait a minute. You want to say that again for me? I'm going to write this. Magnetic quadrupole triplet spectrometer. It's not the first one in the world, but it's by and large the largest one. And when combined with the very nice nuclear accelerator facility it has here, it will provide us with a capability for experiments unlike that in any other lab I know of. That's very interesting, Dr. Finley. Um, you know, I've walked by this building for the last couple of years, and I'm finally glad my editor sent me down to talk with you. What I'd like to know is, what does this area have to do with students? Over the last several years, most of the students working in this laboratory have been graduate students doing experiments leading to their master's or PhD dissertations. The nice thing about the honors tutorial program is that it gives us the opportunity to take undergraduates and get them involved in serious research projects at a very early stage in their career. Sandwichma Mahi Ba Sibzamini. A what? No. Let me tell you, it was like to have a sandwich and some french fries. Okay, fish and fries. 
Well, TGIF. What? That means tomorrow's Saturday. <laughs> it does. countryside setting with an extraordinarily cosmopolitan student body. That's a really unique thing for a residential campus. Do you have any suggestions about ways in which we could better combine our residential programs and dormitory living with our academic mission as an educational institution? What about the idea of like when the faculty had special classes or classes that were of small groups, not on a large scale? actually bring them to the residential dorms where the academics would be coming to the residents rather than the residents going to them. Yeah, even having the uh, professors and administrators eating in the um, cafeterias or even staying the night in the dorms. You think they could stay? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I think it would be pretty good to have um, not only have them eating there but also maybe possibly having advisors, special faculty advisors, have offices in the dorms so that they could um, so that the students during in between classes or at night could go down and see their advisor rather than wander around and try to find their office on campus. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Harder. I, I'm going to have to be going. I've got a thesis production that opens in two days. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cedric, you were going to say something about that. Yeah, I think it would be it would fit in very well with the special interest housing that's what I'd like to see because then the professor would I don't know what I can do go from one appointment to another got my thesis production opening in a couple of days hope we can pull it all together got a tour to worry about got an internship to set up got a job to find uh, maybe Bob will have something to help me out there Hey, Davey. Yeah. I was just looking over this calendar here. We were working out for that tour for next quarter. How'd the meeting go? We're fine. Okay. We're fine. The, the schools and uh, the branches and stuff are all really turned on to the program. And you know that uh, that thing you're writing with Peter about Shakespeare and the acting lessons and stuff. And What was the reception to that? Schools thought it was going to be a super idea. You know, you're at that time. You're at that time in life when uh, you've gone to school all this time, you've been training, you've been training here, you, you're directing the show, and you've got your internship coming up, and it's all going to work out. You're at that transition, and it's going to work out. Have we heard anything from, I, I know they want me, but are the dates... <laughs>
day that I was gone, I was up at Vince Costello's camp, helping with uh, the boys' camp. And when I received the telegram telling me I was to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, oh, right? I actually cried. Me too. And I'm not ashamed of that. The same I, thing. I, I, I think that's a great, great impact. It's one of the when greatest man songs came, you can When man came, I don't know came. how they're informing them today. Right? It was really the same that? thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Does he go here? Yeah, yeah. he graduated oh, here. He's still up in Cleveland, Judge? <laughs> he's in our office. <laughs> Law firm. Well, I think we can. I think we can. You're right. You're still out there, are you? Well, I'm a trying to keep as far away as I can from Dick Lane. Does it operate at the congressional level, Alex? Well, it does at the congressional level, but it also operates at the state level and at the local level. We have people in the mayor's office, city council, lieutenant governor's office, uh, and uh, the kids just really enjoy it. They get a big kick out of it all, at all levels. And they take it for a whole quarter, is that the idea? That's generally the idea, although sometimes a, a student will double up and take two quarters. Uh, good. Is there a good acceptance of the program? Very much so, and as a matter of fact, some of them have gotten jobs out of it, so it's been very successful along those lines. That sounds great. I wish you could play somebody with me sometime. <laughs> Maybe we will. Well, it's been awfully nice seeing you, Don. Good to see you, uh, Alex. Have a good time, and enjoy Homecoming. Okay, Jojo, good Be to sure, see you. Be sure to tell Jean hello. I will do that. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 We'll see you. Well, I never thought I'd have a classmate be a congressman. Well, we always thought he'd be successful when he was in class with us. I suppose you're right. Well, let's get going. I'm really glad that they're doing those internships. The classroom work is, is important. But it's important also to know what's going on in the real world. I think the students will benefit from that sort of thing. It's interesting that the way a highway bypass can change the view of the whole campus. I don't think I'd recognize it from here. But I suppose in the same way that the world's different too and the university has to change in order to keep up with the times. I kind of like that. Well, it was a great visit. There's a special kind of communication that occurs just because of the heritage of a great university. There's a feeling of permanence, a feeling of pride in being Ohio's first university in, in 1804, a good feeling about serving society's needs and for generation after generation. One of the university's roles as communicator is to make these important associations available to us all. Close associations with men and women who love to teach, who love their subject matter and their students, and associations with other students, not just those who fit particular test score patterns, but those also who represent the full spectrum of what life offers. It is up to each student to search and to discover, to find what excites him or her personally, and to build interests that may last a lifetime. University marks its 175th anniversary. We celebrate this long history and the fact that we are Ohio's first university for the sense that you look at the past in order really to better face the future. The university has been buffeted by change, by crisis, as all universities. But it's a university basically rich in people, rich in place, and the people who touch lives are ultimately the heart of the university. We mark this anniversary with a sense of the richness of this past and a rededication to the future, the pursuit of quality in the life of the university. 